Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do y'all summons for July the 7th, 2024. We'll be reading Acts chapter 18 in the New Testament. Um, I got this from listening to my album, my mixtape, Ballin' for Life. Um, I wasn't even gonna do these because guys and henchmen wouldn't want me to. But I watched my mama videos and she gave me motivation to not be in. So I went here and go ahead and did these, okay? So y'all should already know who these people are. And if I have to stop, I really, okay? This Acts chapter 18. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. Corinthian. He found a certain Jew named Aquila, a man of Pontus by race, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had commended all the Jews to depart from Rome. He came to them. This is basically about somebody on a long journey, or we are all on a long journey, okay? We'll be meeting a lot of different people, okay? Um, Acts is, we, we take an action, okay? Um, and because he practiced the same trade, he lived with them and worked. For by trade, they were tent makers. He reasoned in the Sinogu every Sabbath and pursued Jews and Greeks. But when Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul was compelled by the Spirit, testifying to the Jews that Yeshua was the Messiah. He, but when, my bad, I'm back, y'all. <clears throat> Paul was compared by the Spirit, testifying to the Jews that Yeshua was the Messiah. When they opposed him and blasphemed him, he shook out his clothing and said to them, Your blood be on your own heads. I am clean. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. Oh yeah, when I exposed your knees, basically. People didn't believe me, so... Ain't like a lot of people try to kill my head. They still don't believe me. They said they would still go on Shanice's side. Cause like, you know, I took like, you know, some of my pictures, right? And then she took some pictures. Everybody went to her and not my pictures. You know, like sexy pictures. I know it's dumb, but shit, that's what they said, okay? So to see who, you know, because she dark skin. You know, I'm black too. Like, I'm really am black. Like, I'm black, you know, I'm a nigga. But. I'm lighter. I'm a lighter nigga. You know what I'm saying? But she's a dark skin. And they're going to like, I'm going to go with the dark skin, bitch. You know? Because you not, you not Jesus because Jesus black. And you not black. But I am black. I'm just not black on the outside. But I'm black. But she dark skin. But she just said, but she said in her song, she don't care about niggas. Okay? So, but, you know. People like to play like that, you know what I'm saying? So that basically what's going on. He departed there and went into the house of a certain man named Justus. Justus, one who worshipped God, whose house was next door to the Sinogu. See, she needs them. Them people that saying they on her side because they worship God, that she worship. Okay? Crispus, the ruler of the Sinogu, believed in the Lord with all his house. Many of the Corinthians, when they heard, believed and was immersed. The Lord said to Paul in the night by vision, Don't be afraid, but speak and don't be silent. Okay then. For I am with you, and no one will attack you to harm you. For I have many people in this city. I understand that, you know what I'm saying? But they do be throwing acid on me, y'all. They be trying to kill me, though, you know? And that's why I say I done changed, because loosely I have to be on my guard. But I don't got time trying to be on my guard in my house, you know what I'm saying? I should have all my people ready to kill, shoot on sight when a bitch come at me. Why they do magic, because they know they do dark magic on me. My people going to be stuck, and they can do whatever they want to do to me. 
type shit. So I believe the most how he say that. Because I know back in the day, my people were riding for me. Like any bitch that try to come and kill me, bitch, you dead. I mean, you dead. You, you, you dead on sight. You know what I'm saying? But then they done got smart with it now. They done losing. They losing magic. The freezers and shit. And then they, they had to come at me. You know what I'm saying? So that's also what it's saying too. But, you know, I believe the most high. But, you know, sometimes... I, Sometimes, I, sometimes I'm tired of dying, you know what I'm saying? I want to just stay alive, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to die, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you might rip it, but you know this, okay? He lived there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. But when Galileo was Pontusul of Asia, the Jews with one accord rose up against Paul and brought him before the judgment seat. Yeah, they don't expose me, y'all. I'm all, I'm everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I'm all on the book, okay? You know what I'm saying? Bad things, too, you know what I'm saying? Saying that this man portrayed men to worship God contrary to the law. But when Paul was about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If indeed it were a matter of wrong or of wicked crime, you Jews, it would be reasonable that I should bear with you. See, that's why they on their side. They why the gods is on their side, really, because, like, she, y'all doing us a favor, you know what I'm saying? She the enemy. Y'all taking our enemy out for us. Thank you. I mean, even though I'm not really taking out, but I do lose something. I do lose money, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I do die. People don't believe that because I come back, but I still die. Okay? But if they are Christians by words and names in your own law, look t- to it yourselves. For I don't want to be a judge of these matters. Exactly. Thank you. So he drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks seized Sosidens, the ruler of the Sinogu, and beat him before the judgment seat. Gallio didn't care about any of these things. Paul, having stayed after this many more days, took his leave of the brothers and sailed from there for Syria together with Priscilla and Arcria. He shaved his head in Shishiri. Sh- for he had a vow. He came to Ephesus and he left them there. But he himself entered into the Sinogu and reasoned with the Jews. When they asked him to stay with them a longer time, he declined. Okay, that's, it's by some dude, okay? That's by him, okay, on that part. But taking his leave of them, he said, I must by all means keep this coming feast in Jerusalem. But I will return again to you if God wills. Then he set sail from Ephesus. Okay? Because they know all things. Duh. Okay? When he had landed at Sisri, he went up and greeted the assembly and went down to Antioch. Having spent some time there, he departed and went through the region of Gatitia and Phagia in order establishing all the disciples. Now a <laughs> they not they not listening to him. Now a certain Jew named Apollos in Alexandria by race and an eloquent man came to Ephesus. He was mighty in the scriptures. This man had been instructed in the way of the Lord and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Yeshua. Although he knew only the immersion of Yoshana, he began to speak boldly in the Sinagu. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. You ain't lying. When he had determined to pass over into Ashea, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. When he had come, he greatly helped those who had believed through grace. None of them. For he powerfully refuted the Jews, perfectly showing by the scriptures that Yeshua was the Messiah. That means he killed killed Messiah, okay? Angel, no, Messiah. Okay, different. Totally different. You can ask the Jews. Thank you. Um, yes, it's Jesus, not Messiah. Okay, or Yeshua, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, aka Savior. Okay, all of y'all. 
including my daughters too, because I did break in. Got a point out. So, yeah, these are all the summits for today. Then we'll do the stories. Okay, enjoy.